Lame. Dead. Writers Jeff Lemire and Charles Soule spent way too much of this arc discussing plans and not enough of it making things happen. They didn't need eight issues. They didn't need six issues. They needed four high intensity issues truly pitting the Inhumans and X-Men future against each other. And they promised that at the beginning of this issue. They show us it's time Inhuman and X-Men are finally gonna settle the score, only for Emma Frost to return to her wily planning ways a few pages later. It's the last issue. The time for planning is over. Show us what we're here for, for dick's sake. Artists Lino Francis Yu, Gary Allen Gielan, and David Curiel do a great job at building the hype. From the wide panels to the colorful displays, it feels like a prologue to a world championship boxing match. And Inhumans vs. X-Men number 6 delivers on that promise. Somewhat. Wanna know who wins? Normally, I'd tell you to go get the comic book to find out, but we all know how this ends, with some asinine excuse for why they don't have to kill each other anymore. Yeah. Iso shows up to inform Medusa that the X-Men are not simply fighting the Inhumans because Black Bolt killed Scott Summers. It's because the Terrigen clouds that create Inhumans are poisonous to mutants. Of course, Medusa would decide to save the X-Men from extinction. Who would let an entire race die, right? Except Medusa had this information the entire series. There was an eight month stalemate while Hank McCoy and Crystal worked on this project because both factions knew that it was fatal to X-Men and they wanted to find a peaceful means to continue the Terrigen evolution without harming Moon. So what changed? Did Medusa have a change of heart? No. The writers forgot what they were doing forgot their rules, and forgot the characters they put in place. This arc wrote itself into a corner and there was no way out, so they copped out. Go waste your time on something else, nerds. Inhumans vs. X-Men number 6 gets a 4 on the Richter scale because despite being a decent book in its own right, it's an awful end to a story with too much conversation, a little more action please. What do you think of this arc? Are there better trades and events we need to review and recap? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Rick Rich Dick, and you can find more of my reviews on nerdrift.com and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Remember to like and share this video, hit subscribe, and come back next time for more dirt.